First though, Dr. Mia is right here. Now, before we talk health, can we just reflect on the fact that you met your ultimate hero last I night? Did. You're I still did. in recovery, I am, you? I am. I don't talk to me, Lorraine. I can't talk. I think he's like the nation's hero. It's David Attenborough. Luke. I, I know. He doesn't know that I met him and he doesn't know that I took that photograph. <laughs> but there you go. There he is. That's as Thank close you. as I'm going to get to, to David Attenborough, I think. But I went to a, a showing of his new show that's coming out on the 12th of March. It's called The Wild Isles. Oh, uh, wow. And it focuses on wildlife right here in the UK. And it looks Thanks. spectacular. There's all Walker, golden eagles, stags. Honestly, Lorraine, and he's in be good form, isn't he? He, he, looks he looks really, really well. well. He looked really well. So I'm you've so met him as well. He was on the show, and honestly, it was like having it was like having God yeah. on the program. To be quite honest with you, <laughs> um, and he is what I love. Don't you just love this? I know how passionate you are about wildlife. Yes, but he is the man. He, he is the man. Inspires so many of us. And he? He, when he talks, and the difference here, Lorraine, is that he actually knew you were taking this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> so, makes a difference, I think. Oh, but no, what it's a legend. Wonderful. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be great. <laughs> now, look, this is horrid, but and it's not unsurprising. Really shocking statistics about obesity. I mean, this yes. is scary. This isn't is it? scary. This mm. is from the World Obesity Federation, and they're saying that half of the world's population are likely to be obese by 2035 wow. if we don't do something about it. And the countries most likely to be affected are those low and middle income countries in Africa and South Asia. Now, we know obesity is really complex. It isn't just a case of calories in, calories out. It's far more complicated than that, and we don't want to attach any stigma or shame to people who are suffering with obesity. And a lot of it, you know, there's genetics involved, hormones involved. It's all in your head, isn't it's it? It's all in your yeah, head. Yeah, a little and, bit. But also, marketing. This is the problem with these low and middle income companies, where we've got processed foods and sugary foods here, heavily marketed, affordable, nutrient yeah. poor, uh, but calorie dense. They are now moving to those countries, and that is what, and they're aiming their marketing right. at children. Now, Mexico have done something really innovative because their population does suffer a lot from yes. obesity, particularly the younger generation. Mm -hmm. So they've introduced cycling desks at schools, which, look at this. Wow. <laughs> so kids... You know what? That's a really good it's idea. It's a really good idea. I mean, we've got to balance it out with the learning. But what it actually does is instill good habits in children at a young age. Yeah. And so if they move younger, they're more likely to move older. And I think with, with trying to lose weight, you know, very complex, but diet is key. Lots of plant-based uh, foods, and mm. if you are going to eat meat, lean meat is the best. Exactly, and you're, I mean, we know that sugary stuff, it, it's addictive. It, you, yes, you can't it's help definitely yourself. got addictive properties. Absolutely. But high, highly processed food, that is what's damaging our country right now. Well, we and we've got to have get away from world it. overweight, for goodness sake. Now, one of the reasons, I guess, is because we're spending so much time on these things. Yes. So much time on our phones. TikTok, actually, if they not say an hour limit? Yes, for, for under 18s. 18. For under 18s. Yeah, yeah. We were asking how much you use your phone. My daily screen time probably varies between, like, six hours, probably, like, ten hours. Something of the order of about three hours a day, I'd say. Five to five, six hours? Yeah. I think a minimum of five hours. About an hour. Over five hours a day. OK, let's see. Oh, seven oh, hours? I was lying. <laughs> five hours, 27 oh. minutes. Mine's six hours, 18. Four hours and 38 minutes. I'm on three hours, 28 at the moment, but the day's still young. The screen time never lies. <laughs> It's scary. When it, when, it, when it shows you your screen time, yeah, yeah. it really is a wake-up call. On it? average, we spend about 5,000 hours a year on the phone. That's 34 years of our life in total Good looking great screens. <laughs> I know, and it it's really has adverse health effects. You know, mm. we know that young people who spend a lot of time on screens have behavioural, social and mental health issues more likely to happen to right. them. And for adults, it can affect our eyes and our, our brain function as well. Yeah. Uh, so I've got some tips if you feel like you're spending too much time on your, right. on your phone, on particularly for your eyes, mm -hmm. because you get this thing called digital eye strain. Take a break every 20 minutes. And what I want you to do, because you're so focused on looking at something so close to you, 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 you your eyes can actually change shape when they're looking something at something close and when you look at something distant, they change shape again. That's right. how they focus on these ah, things. Okay. We don't want them to stay in that shape. We want it to vary. So 
every 20 minutes, spend 20 seconds looking at something 20 feet away. The right. rule of 20. The rule of 20. Same as our age, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> With oh, the 18. <laughs> also, when you're looking at screens, you're blinking less, so you can get very dry eyes. Oh. So take a break and blink, which sounds really blink. simple, but do blink, or you can use artificial teardrops uh, right. as well. Okay. And also, the blue light that comes off the screen can affect your circadian rhythm, which affects your sleep in the long run. Right. So you can actually buy glasses that block that blue light. Uh, but actually, what I would say is get away from your screen, spend time outside in nature. Which is what you that do. That is the best thing for your eyesight and health Exactly, overall. and also posture. Yeah. Posture. So Because we're got... all humped and hunched yes, over. Yes, definitely. I've got some very, very simple, quick okay. tips on how to improve your, your posture. So when you're, when you're at, a, at a desk or at a screen, every so often, I would say every hour or two, right. move your neck up and down like that, like up and down. Side, to side. side to side. Do a chest stretch, open up your arms Ooh. and open up your chest. Lovely. Put your arms across your chest, move your back side to side yeah. and then lastly do some hip marches up and down with your legs do that regularly keeps the blood flowing yes. and gets your joints moving and your right. posture improved ironically you could set a thing on your you phone could. to make you do it <laughs> which is a certain <laughs> over that no look you're wearing socks I you're am. telling me that these might might help with snoring? I think the emphasis is on the might. So okay. this is about obstructive sleep apnea where neck muscles can relax and when people sleep, it can obstruct their breathing and they start stop breathing right. during the night and snoring as well. One of the theories is that people can build up fluid in their legs and when they lie down, that fluid moves to their neck and puts added pressure there. Okay. But these, wearing these socks in the day and perhaps the night as well right. can shift that fluid back into your circulation so it's not just lingering right. around. So it's, that's the kind of socks you would wear on the plane? Yeah, it's the kind compression, of, yeah, compression stops. Sucks. But what I would say is there's limited evidence for it. If you, have, if you are suffering from obstructive sleep apnea, get a referral to the sleep clinic and get a CPAP machine. Sure. And also weight loss does help. And be careful about buying socks like this. You've got to get them measured before you just put them on. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do yourself a mischief. Yes. But if you try it and it does work, do let me know. Because <laughs> uh, somebody I'm very close to snores like a wee bull. <laughs>